Yo, I'm Nez, and I'm dropping another impromptu review on y'all. And I've been waiting for this one for a minute, but um, it finally got here, so I'm just gonna get right into it. This time, what we're taking a look at is the BAM. This is the Skill Rechargeable 4 Volt Screwdriver with Circuit Sensor Technology. Basically, it's um, it's a 4 volt screwdriver, and it can test for live circuits. So, um instead of me explaining the whole thing that I normally do why I got it um which obviously you could figure out why I got it let's just get right into this bad boy but before we get into this why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that way you can be notified whenever I put videos just like this and if you like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up and share it so that way you can let other people know about this who may be interested in something like this besides you'll help me in the channel out immensely so now that we got all that out the way let's get into this this is the front of the um, box that's what she looks like boom right there um when you come in there basically skill rechargeable four volt screwdriver with circuit sensor technology got it in a couple languages there so for you that's your language there you go built for every day detects live wires circuit sensor technology for everyday products projects i should say compact size easy bit um changes you got a five-year warranty after you register it so i will be doing that this is the side of the box got your barcode there skill on the side of the screwdriver there other side of the box got some information because the specs 230 rpms lithium-ion battery 1.3 um 1.3 amps amp hours i should say call it size quarter and there's the same information in different languages and there goes your patent information stuff down there bottom of the box got your contents screwdriver circuit center technology usb charging cable uh nine piece bit set magnetic insert bit holder okay and uh there goes a phone number in case you need to contact them i like that they did that we got your uh, social medias and uh, like everything else made in china top of the box same as the front and side of the box back of the box just showing you a whole bunch of stuff let you read that yourself but pretty much it looks like it's uh, all the information that I, um, I already read to you oh it looks got led lights on there too forward and reverse auto spindle lock okay all right all right so let's get into this bad boy screwdriver right there set that aside for now got some literature I would just toss it because you know I don't read this crap but all the stuff that I need is inside there so I'll take this out first and then you know I don't need that got your nine piece set there got your magnetic bit holder and got your USB A to micro USB charger there And then the screwdriver. Okay, so when you take a look at the screwdriver here, just go around it so you can see it. Got a nice rubberized texture around it. So you got good grip on it. Got your little chuck um release easy there um you got your two led lights right there that they were talking about and i guess this might be your circuit sensing technology oh, okay i see how it works there's no direct button so you basically you put it in there you turn it left and right to which way you want to spin it and i imagine you press this to check for live circuits this lightning button bottom down there is where you uh, charge it your charge port okay when you turn it the lights turn on and it looks like it stays on for an additional five seconds maybe ten seconds okay so after you turn it on and use it, it uh, goes on for another, stays, the light stays on for 10 seconds. 
Oh, I like this. They include a little drill bit there in case you should need that. That means this thing must have enough torque to actually drill anything. And of course, then I'm recording. I will get a fax coming in naturally. You know how that works. Okay, that locks in there, and that's, that bad boy's in there. I think I would have liked it better if there was actual buttons to press to turn it left and right, but I guess um, you just got to learn how to do things one-handed. I guess you, I guess you could maneuver it. So um, let's see if I can find a live circuit here so I can check that out and see that situation. Got a plug, extension plug here that I have some stuff plugged into. So maybe this will work. Okay, so I guess you just put it up against it and um, press the lightning button. And maybe you have to take this off. Okay, okay, so you're putting this up against whatever source you want. And that's how you're gonna tell if there's live power. And that's live power. Okay, I'm gonna hold down a button and see how close you have to be before it goes off. I want you to actually see this if you can. Okay, that's pretty close. I mean, pretty far away. Well, it looks like it's about five, six inches there. Okay, so right there, that's about four inches. Okay, let's try it again. Yep, good four inches away. You can hold the four inches away and it'll pick up that circuit. That's pretty good. I like that. Um, let me see. Let me, go, let me go for a plug real quick. Hold on to me. Let's go to a plug and uh, check this out. Catch on the flip. Okay, I got one of the old plugs in my man cave. Here we go with the circuit. Let's check this out. find a wire without a current to it this is my rigid charger right here I have I don't have that plugged into anything so let's see check this wire out nothing now that charger wire right here has it's plugged in it's plugged into my speaker and that goes off rigid wire nothing speaker wire Okay, so this bad boy does work. So um, let's uh, come back in and finish out this video. I have to say that I actually like this. Now I have a couple skill screwdrivers here. Now what I should do is I should check this to see how well she actually screws stuff, but it's a screwdriver. I mean, the main reason why I bought this is to throw into my little electrician's bag, you know, my little minor, you know, electrical things I know how to do, like change plugs and stuff like that. Um, there's no need for me to check this to see how much torque she has, how much she's going to screw, because it's, I'm sure it's made to be able to unscrew screws for like light plates and plugs and stuff like that. You're not screwing frames together or anything like that. Um, I have a regular, the, um, a, the pivoting uh, four volt of this, it looks just like this, except it pivots to look like a gun. And then I have the 360, which the, um, I'm going to be putting the res um, review up for that pretty soon. Um, and then I'm gonna do the, put the review up for this one. Well, if you're seeing this one, that means the other two are already in there, which most likely they'll be uh, linked in this in the description or in your, at the end of this video, so you can see with those other two um, screwdrivers. But yeah, I really like this. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this. If you want me to do another video to where I'm showing you, I'm actually screwing some stuff with it. But like I said, it's just a basic screwdriver. Um, you're, I, I, this is going to my electrician's bag, so I mean it doesn't. I don't think it needs to be able to unscrew or screw in anything more than a, a light plate. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but if you want to see that, let me know in the comments down below, and um, and I'll do that video for you, um, so you can see it. But um, with that being said, I'm Nez, and this has been the impromptu review of the Skill rechargeable four volt screwdriver with circuit sensing technology. 
that's a nice long name for you. Say that 10 times, right? Um, I say cop that, especially if you can catch a deal on it. When I, I dropped the ball on this, when I initially saw this, um, like I'm going to say three months ago, and it was only on it was on sale for 15 bucks that's when i should have grabbed it but i didn't because i bought the other the 360 screwdriver which i was more interested in at the time um and um, now this jumped up to 25 bucks but i still think it's worth the 25 bucks um so i would say snatch this bad boy up now before they drop before they jump the price up again because um the only other one that i only other um screwdriver that i've seen like this is being sold in china um, I don't see any other, you know, uh, brands like uh, DeWalt or Rigid or or Milwaukee or or Makita making anything like this. So, um, but it's just a matter of time, I'm sure. Uh, right now, like I said, I saw one on Ali, um, AliExpress, um, and Banggood out in Florida. I mean, Florida, China. I meant out in China, they sell a generic version of this, and those are and those are um, for sale for like twenty five, thirty bucks. So, um, like I said, once this thing catches on, you're not going to be able to get these or the, the price on this is going to skyrocket. And, um, so, um, get them now while they're getting good if you could use something like this. Because it is a screwdriver, you know. And like I said, the collet does lock when you, don't, when you don't have it. So, you can use it as an actual screwdriver. And it does. I know these skill uh, little mini screwdrivers, they lock pretty good. So, they, do, they definitely have the torque so you can manually turn stuff. So... Don't think that just because you're manually turning it'll slip. It'll definitely hold because the other two screwdrivers um, that I have by skill, when the battery runs out, I still can use it as a manual screwdriver. So um, just know that. But um, like I said, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. And um, definitely cop this. And I'm out this piece.